Hope you didn't notice that uh, when I went through that last question of a homogeneous equilibrium, I kept the title from previous, that heterogeneous equilibrium up. Anyway, the gist of the question was there, and we calculated a K value, and hey, by the way, if we take the same reaction, but we say, you know what, we're not doing moles per liter. What we're going to do is, because they're all gases, we're going to talk about atmospheres of pressure. So we can actually do this as a pressure equilibrium. Now look, it's the same fundamental idea. So it's just, sometimes it's just written differently, that's all. If we're not going to deal with moles per liter, but we're going to deal with atmospheres or kilopascals or tor, millimeters of mercury. What we're going to do is, we're going to write the expression as a constant for pressure. By the way, and if it was concentration, you could put a C there. I've just been writing K equals, but it could be KC for concentration, KP for pressure. And later, KW for water's equilibrium constant, KA and KB for acids and bases, KSP for solubility product. Woo! Lots of K values, just write K, it's fine. Now, what are we going to do here? Well, it's still the... the, the well, it's not the concentrations this time, but it's the pressures of the products divided by the pressure of the reactants. So what you do is you write down pressure times pressure times pressure, because they're still being multiplied together, but it's going to be the pressure of the H2 times the pressure of the Cl2 times the pressure of the O2, but that pressure is to the fourth, divided by the pressure of the HClO4, but it's squared. And it's just the same kind of thing, and you plug the pressures in to be able to get the pressure constant. Now that's pretty straightforward. So if we actually, ha actually had another ice box here, we would just plug in the pressures. Hey, and by the way, in a pressure type of equilibrium question, let's just pretend that at equilibrium we had 1.00 atmospheres here at equilibrium. And we needed to then do that same calculation we did before, where this was minus 2x for the change line, and this was going to be plus x, plus x, and plus 4x. Hey, when you find out what x is here, and x is actually going to equal 0.5, then this is going to be 0.5, this is going to be 0.5, and this is going to be 2. And you can then plug those pressures in to find the k value, but you could also be asked in a question like this, what's the total pressure in the system? And remember, Dalton's law of partial pressures is that you would take all of these pressure quantities at equilibrium and just add them all together to be able to get the total pressure of the system.